So this map already has defenses pretty well established, which is a problem for us because we're playing as the creeper today. And what we can do is take this emitter here and give it a bit of a boost because it sorely needs it. So now it produces more creep and then we can also launch some eggs that should hopefully take out some of their defenses if we just place them around the edge of the world like so. And then once they detonate, they start flooding the area with creep, which is working pretty well for as long as it lasts. So let's just get some more eggs established right away. And we can also detonate them when we feel like it. There we go. Now things are getting destroyed. And we can also launch some rocks to destroy more things at random. Ooh, some mortars got destroyed there. That works pretty good. We'll just keep boosting this emitter because it needs all the help it can get. And hopefully we can destroy some of the units that are up here. There we go. Some towers are going down. That's putting a halt to their network. But now our little hole here is starting to flood with anti-creep, which is not good. I need another boost to the emitter here. And I want to work my way up to one of these other structures that are nullified, like the spore launcher there. There's another emitter here. We'll just see where we end up. Ooh, good. We're starting to climb up the mountaintop. So let's just boost it some more by launching some more eggs and detonating them right away. Very good. Get that creep flowing very nicely. Destroy that cannon. Yes. And if we can disrupt their supply network, then we can remove the ammo from these cannons. But they're very quick to destroy the creep here. So it's not the easiest. Ooh, we got rid of that tower. Let's see what else we can destroy. Wow, that rock took out a pylon way over there. That's some impressive range. And we do have to deploy these in range of the creep. So it's a bit limited there. Ooh, but that cannon is out of juice. We'll give some more juice to the emitter. And it's pumping out 150 every partial second. I like that. Some more eggs right on top of these towers over here. Beautiful. And right now I think the biggest thing halting us is the mortars that are going out. So we'll just drop eggs right on there. That should clear that out very nicely. Come on, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of the mortars. Yes, we got rid of that one. And just need another egg to target this one. Ooh, take out the tower too. Yes, cutting off more of the network which is a pretty well-connected network, so that might not be the best strategy. But it is starting to work its way up this hillside very effectively. It's almost hitting this missile here, which we are gonna need to take out all those missiles if this spore launcher is gonna be of any use. But that's the way we're going anyway, so let's just keep going that way. If we can get their generation lower than their usage, then we can start forcing a deficit. That sounds like a good idea. Ooh, the nullifier's taking damage too now. Give up the attack. Just plant it right on the nullifier. Oh, the nullifier actually ran out of energy. Wow. So now the spore launcher, yes, it's on a countdown now. So it can launch a couple things. Why don't we boost that a little bit? It also looks like the spore launcher is creating its own eggs. I like that idea. Ooh, whoa, the spore launcher is going. But it quickly got shot down by the missiles. Hopefully this one makes it. I'm not too sure what that would do for its effect because it's landing right in the middle of anti-creep, but we'll just see it. And just a quick spike right on the mortar that gets taken out instantly. Okay then, but the creep is reaching over here now, so let's drop some rocks on things at random. Very good, destroying so much. And now our emitter is able to just pump out creep endlessly without really getting interrupted, except for over here. So let's see if there's a choke point that we can make use of. Oh, there's a mini rift over here. Well, that's an issue, but there's three towers connected right in here. So let's just drop eggs right there. Oh, it's on the range of creep. So we gotta go a bit closer. There we go. Ooh, ooh, that's working pretty well. Oh, and the, no way, did the nullifier go down? The nullifier went down, so this emitter's going. Now let's boost it. Accepts just excessive amount of times. It is getting very well suppressed right now, but at least creep is there. That means we can deploy eggs in the area and in range of a sniper as well. That should backfire on itself. Yes. Go on, sniper. Keep doing what you do. You're just helping me out. Okay, everything there handled the eggs very well, surprisingly, which I do need more eggs right about now. Yes, okay, things are very weak. They should get blown up. Yes, all those got destroyed very nicely. An empty pocket of world right here. And wow, the creep is flowing over here very nicely too. I like it. More missiles are going down. Oh, and the eggs are helping out the emitter over here. 
Cool. Oh, and the egg is about to go off here if the mortar can keep up with keeping the creep out here. So something else that's interesting is I can actually generate creep using the cursor. So I can just sort of, you know, help it out going this way. That seems to work somehow. That's very interesting. Another cannon just went down, yes. And we should also cut off some more supplies over here. So let's see if we can take out this tower here. Very good. And then this tower over here. That should cut off the mini rift in this direction. That's one tower. And then, oh, come on, give me another egg. There we go, take out the tower, take out the tower, yes! Another tower taken out. So the energy can still get over this way, but it has to take a long way around. That should help our emitter catch up to speed. And there's things that are being taken out all around that's glorious. So where's the energy coming from now? The mini rift over here. Ooh, but there is a large amount of breed tile right here for the creeps, so that should help. They also have bombers, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, but these spore launches should give us a lot more to work with here if they land in good spots. Oh wow, they have two nullifiers going over here and a blob nest Ooh, blob nest will be helpful oh and there's eggs going all the way over here to help this emitter that's a good thing can i detonate that egg oh yes i can it just happened i love it sure why don't we just detonate these eggs to send a massive wave of creep out look at it build up there wow that is that's a lot of creep. This is like a one time I'm allowed to be excited about a large amount of creep. And it is going to pay off very nicely. These things cannot keep up. The mortar is getting damaged. This tower here is about to go down because there is just so much going on there. And their generation is going down too. I love it. Just one more surge of creep for the tower. And yes, more taken down. We are slowly moving out. And all the spore launches are kind of intimidating. I won't lie. So the issue over here is that there's a shield which will take us quite a bit to work through, but it is on top of a mesh. If we can get the creep to a mesh, that should be good news for us. We can spawn an egg right on the mesh. Is that enough to activate it, though? It kind of goes away pretty quickly. Ooh, but we're taking out a tower there. So let's just keep working on that. Very good. And we can cut off this entire network if we take out this tower here. So let's just force some eggs right there and then do that. I guess it's gonna need more than that. Yes, okay. This entire area is cut off now. So we can just let the creep flow very nicely. Call down some more eggs right on this tower here. So all of these get cut off and we are being very strategic about this. Oh good, the spore launcher over here has a healthy coating of creep. Let's just detonate those eggs while we're here. And sure enough, these things are running out of juice. That's another cannon that's empty. This one's about to be empty if it just keeps firing. And yes, we're destroying cannons over here. Beautiful. And the creep that's flowing from the emitter is starting to reach the mesh now. But what does it take to activate the mesh? It should be going right now, right? Well, even if the mesh isn't going, the creep is just not slowing down for anything. I should probably help it out over here. And we have good range on the rock here because creep is already there. So let's see if we can blow up some things next to the blob. Just destroy a whole lot of things. Some pylons, some missiles. Oh, we got the nullifier. Oh, beautiful. That means blobs are about to go out. So let's boost the blob nest for eight blobs in the next minute. Oh, that's gonna be so devastating. Except there's snipers right there. There's a lot of snipers right here. Let's just go ahead and give them something to work on which is a whole lot of eggs. That should get rid of a few snipers, hopefully. Got rid of some pylons, some more towers, and yes, there go the snipers. Beautiful. That way the blobs have a fighting chance. And okay, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. That is looking very nice. And this mortar, even though it's urn boosted, cannot keep up. So it's empty now, which is good. Here goes another spore launcher reaching way out there. They're reaching all the way over here which is also where our objective is because the base is here and none of these spores are really gonna reach their target because they have missiles just everywhere. Ooh, but the blob is starting to reach inside the shield. We can just help that out a little bit with our cursor. There we go, that actually can't keep up with it all. That is very interesting how that actually works. And now the mini rift is cut off from everything except the towers right around it. Can we destroy the mini rift? We're destroying mortars. Come on, mini rift, cut off. Get the mini rift. Yes, we got the mini rift. Aha! So now, I think that means that the shield is cut off too. Oh, it's still getting supplies because of actually a few towers. But we are starting to get the creep inside the shield anyway. So we should be able to take it off. Come on. 
Just work the creep this way, just pushing it along. Come on, creep. Get on over here. Take out the shield. Take out the shield. Yes, there's a good creep wave. So now I can flow more this way uninterrupted. Ooh, are the sprayers constantly on? That might be part of why there's so much anti-creep on the map, but the mesh still isn't getting activated, which is interesting. At least it doesn't look like it's activated. Ooh, but more things are blowing up on their own. Oh, that urn just got set free. So where exactly is it gonna go? I'm not sure. Maybe it'll inhabit a new weapon. But man, the snipers are still giving the blobs a hard time over here. Let's go ahead and work on taking those out because we have a lot of eggs stored up. So that should do a good thing over here. Oh yes, yeah, so many things are blowing up. It's beautiful. Oh, and an egg just blew up over here. Wow, right in the heart of everything. And all these weapons don't have energy anymore. Good. Taking over this corner of the map, excellent. We almost have creep covering this entire side. We just need to work on a few things over here. The problem is there's not a common choke point unless we take out a few towers over here. So let's see what a couple of rocks do. So many things blowing up. Okay, that did take out one tower, which is good. So we can send some eggs right here to take out this tower. Come on, just one more egg. Yes, okay. That should cut off this entire corner of the world here. Oh yes, now the creep can just slowly make its way over to here. And I think this spore that launched should reach its target because there's no missiles over there. Oh good, oh there's a the blob wave. Oh, they're actually taking stuff out now. Yes. Oh, that is beautiful to see. And the spore reaches its target. Yes, take out their energy right here. Every little bit helps. Oh, and I actually have creep that I can work with over here with my cursor. Ooh, and this emitter is nullified. Or er, it's not nullified anymore. Yes, destroy everything. I love it. And now this blob nest is freed. We have a lot of boost stored up. We'll just boost this blob nest a little bit because they are just little assassins that they are. And we can boost this emitter as well. A whole lot of times, 290 from that one. Okay, I might have went a little bit overboard, but it's gonna be worth it. And now the mesh is getting activated. So hopefully this mesh being activated carries on through the rest of it. And wow, that is a massive wave that's reaching out right there. It's like we're creating our own juggernauts, like, you know, a previous video. Oh, and there go those blobs. That's so many of them. The snipers can't even keep up. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. But the other interesting thing is that there's just these pockets of, you know, pits here with emitters in them and there's anti-creep bombers that make their way through there. Can I put an egg in here? Ooh, I can because there's creep that reaches in range. Sure, let's just make a mess of that, why don't we? Just everywhere, right in the middle of the shield, which didn't do anything actually. Okay, but we are disrupting things in the pit area, so that's looking really good. A couple of rocks should also do good there. Oh, I wish I had more rocks. But now the creep is starting to reach over into the pit. Ooh, that's gonna be very good for us. It can't even keep up, that is beautiful. Look at the amount of creep that's out here. Wow, and the blobs that are going out too, are, are they hitting their targets? They are hitting their targets. This is glorious. Oh, this blob over here got lost in the anti-creep, even though there's nothing over there. That's interesting. Here, we'll detonate a few eggs over here so it can start to flow that way. That should help it out. And we'll give the blobs a few more boosts so that there's 10 of those going out from there. That should be good. And then the spore launcher as well to get 10 of those going out each time, which is actually very soon now. That should be good. And away it goes. <laughs> Those missiles are still being a nuisance. Ooh, but I think the problem is going to be over there. They actually don't have the energy to keep being supplied. Oh yes, and they're dead anyway. Excellent. So now there's spore launches making all the way to the hole here. Oh, not quite. Those missiles have some pretty good range. Tell you what else is good range. All this creep that is flowing out here and the blobs are really making a mess of the pit. That is amazing. Things are starting to look very good over here. Oh yes, and another blob wave. That is really messy, but it's hitting pylons, which is actually working really well. And will it hit a tower? It hits a mortar, and where is this one going? It's going way over here. Sadly, it didn't reach its target. Was it targeting this pylon? It might have been. Ambitious little blob that it is. Ooh, look at this. There's neutral breeding tile over here. That's gonna be really advantageous for us. And there's also this weird land that's going on here. Oh, this land gets eaten away by creep. Whoa, I haven't seen that before. Oh my gosh, and that is devastating. Wow, we are just hollowing this place out. Wow, that was cool. 
Is there more of that on this map? But we might not find that until later. Right now, we already have captured quite a bit of this map in the name of Creep. Very good. I'm sure that will please the queen because, you know, map lore and stuff. The Creep is doing so good on its own. It's almost liberating this emitter here. Soon this pit will be mine. There we go. The emitter is being freed and the nullifier is down yes time to do what we do and just give this thing a whole lot of boost there we go what's interesting is there's another structure over here called a skimmer factory i haven't had one of those to deal with yet but it should be good for us because it's one of ours and the creep wave over here is ooh, it's almost reaching this breeder tile here and the big one. Oh, the big one is going to be very nice. Which, there's really nothing in the way of stopping it from going this way except the anti-creep. Oh, but here come some blobs that are nope. really not reaching for anything in particular. And I don't fully remember what the mesh does, but I think it makes the creep travel faster. I might be remembering that wrong, but oh well. We're attacking this shield now, which is good. Let's just go ahead and use the cursor powers that I have to go through that. Just take out the shield and then the creep can move on with its day. Beautiful. And now everything is get, gets taken out there. And all oh, these poor weapons in this pit. One final defense from them, which is actually working pretty well. I guess because they have a mortar that's urn powered. Let's just go ahead and focus right on you to take you out. There's a lot of things blowing up that I can barely see what's going on. But the urn is free, so it'll go somewhere else. Ooh, the creep is almost reaching that tile, but it's got pushed back somehow. Not sure how that happened. There's a wave going that way for some reason. But here, we can use the cursor powers to... Okay, I didn't realize how much this is actually being carried by the cursor. I could probably just drag this straight to the breeding tile on its own. There we go. The only problem is that there's mortars placed right on the tile. But I don't think they'll be able to keep up. Just paint you with creep all day. There we go. And then work its way over to this one. This is some weird sentient stuff that's happening with the creep, and I am here for it. And another mortar gets taken down, and then the last one here. Ooh, and I think the breeding tile is doing its thing. Excellent. And then that mortar gets taken out. Wow, that is a lot of creep that is happening straight from that tile. I love it. Oh, we're starting to get some crimson creep now. Where's that coming from? Ooh, the skimmer factory is ours now. Yes, time to boost it. Because the skimmer should do good things. And whoa. Oh, are those the skimmers? Whoa. Ooh, they're launching like... Are those egg things? They must be. They're... Doing, oh, okay, that's a skimmer that just, wow, it flew right to the mortars there. Oh, and they're getting stunned. So that's what skimmers do. And there's also whatever that is. That's what's painting the creep crimson. I'm starting to like the skimmers. Oh man, I gotta get a full view of what's happening here. We are covering so much of the map already. That is amazing. And somehow there's still things up here that are alive. Let's just go ahead and cut off that supply chain right where it's at by taking out some towers with our cursor powers. There we go. Oh, there's a mini rift here. Well, that's a problem. Just focus right on you. <laughs> How strong is my cursor? My goodness. It really feels like cheating that I can just use the cursor to drag creep here and there. And these solar panels here are a thing that's helping their generation. Oh, their usage is going up now too. Interesting. I'm not sure what's doing that aside from things really blowing up. Oh, the stash is here now. The stash is about to be activated. Yes. And it's all crimson creep. Wow. That is beautiful. Okay, honestly though, where did these come from? I'm not sure what they are, but they're helping me out a lot, which is nice. I'm just not sure where I got them. Can I boost the stash? Just boost that and then, oh yes I can. That's a stash of 7,000 right there. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Come on, just charge it up. I'm just gonna focus right on there. Charge it up, charge it up. Yes. Oh, that is destructive. Okay, the nullifier over here went down for a little bit, probably from the skimmer let's just go ahead and take it out for good there we go now the emitter can do its thing and we can boost it i haven't even used my rocks or eggs for a while here the creep is just doing good on its own and it is beautiful we are almost to the base of this top structure here and the spore launches are having so much more room to work with i love it okay some missiles are doing things that are good Whoa, whoa, there's the skimmers. Look at them go. That is a lot of skimmers. How many boosts did I give to that? Oh, there they go. And then, oh, it's the shards that fly out that stun things. Wow, very cool. What's not cool is there's still a network here that is intact. 
so maybe we can just help the creep go around this way and cut it off. There we go. Take out this tower right here. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! That pit is cut off from everything now. And there's another crystal down there. Right next to an emitter. Oh, that is broken. I didn't realize how far out this pile of creep was too. Let's just go ahead and use that to our fancy. Ooh, there's the destructible land right here. Oh yes, that's what I was looking for. Just destroy everything that's right there. Anything that is destructible, which it looks like that's it. But I still did some really good things for us. Especially right in this mortar field here. Can we take this creep over to this breeder tile here? Yes, we can. Will it survive? Maybe not, but we will just use this forward advance to cut off so many other networks that will do good things for us. Assuming it can survive. There's a lot of mortars that are earn boosted right now. Wow, that is a lot of them. But there's also a lot of things being blown up here. Look at that feed. <laughs> Wow, we I can barely keep track of everything that's going on here and the bombers are still doing things. Oh, there's the runway. We're about to take out the runway. That'll do good for us. Just target the runway exactly. Yes. Goodbye, bombers. You will not be an issue for me anymore. There goes the entire runway. My goodness. So what do the bombers do if there's no runway for them to go back to? Do they just lose charge? They probably just lose charge. Or they just go down and return to base. Okay, I'm okay with that. Ooh, this pylon here will cut things off very nicely. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Yes, and now the shields will go down on their own. There is so much destruction right now. My ears are being filled with all of it. This is one of those games that gives you tinnitus after you're done playing it. But look at the mini map here. Actually, you know, just look at the big map. We have conquered so much now. And there's so much crimson creep going out too. Are there other crystals I can capture? I'm not seeing other crystals. Ooh, but I am seeing more destructible land over here. That looks fun. And over here is the way we get to the top part of the map here with so much anti-creep to go through as well. We'll focus on that when we get there. Right now we're conquering this low area, which is going to be very good for us. And to do that, we have to get through all of these urn boosts and mortars. That is so many of them. I wonder. Oh, oh, the eggs here would do some good. Just flooding this pit full of them. Oh, yes, that's so many eggs. That's all the eggs I had. Look at all the creep that's going out there. And that took out the nullifier, which is good. That's so many things going up there. Wow, we. That was so much creep that went out there. I think we just took out all the snipers that were targeting the eggs. And there's eggs here that just are not doing anything anymore. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's boost this emitter here because it's kind of the forward advance thing. Man, oh man, there are so many concentrations of cannons here, especially on this front here. Look at that forward line that is slowly being whittled away at by the creep. Oh, and look at that, they're in a major deficit right now. Yes, that means our guns should start slowing down pretty soon. Oh, and the snipers target the skimmers, that's interesting. And it's also cutting off the tower supply as well, it looks like. That's very good, the creep is starting to fill in this low area. Let's just go ahead and help it out a little bit here. Yes, that is a massive wave of creep, oh my goodness. Just coat everybody in it. Yes, and there's a tower network over here that really isn't worth anything. So let's just cut that off the way that we do. Just painting a line right across there. And it also gets rid of all the anti-creep that's stored up right here as well. Oh yes, the entire network just went down. All the green squares just went away. I kind of forget that the land isn't naturally green because of the towers making it green. Like this entire connected network up here that can be destroyed by the destructible land. Oh, that is satisfying. And that just made that entire hilltop flat. My goodness. So let's just take out the shield the way that we do. That is so much creep that is inside the shield. That feels illegal, but it is working in my favor. So I am okay with it. Yes. Now we're starting to attack this big area up here. There's a lot of missile defense up here that is attacking the spores. Oh, and here's another blob wave going up. Can they cross a void? Yeah. They can cross a void. That really feels illegal. But more things are blowing up because of them, which is very good. And these blobs are doing really good for us all the time because the snipers can't reach them. Excellent. And wow, that one made it all the way to a solar panel. Good job, little blob. Proud of you. Just seeing the map the way it is now, this is like 
what other maps start with. Oh, and there's the spore launches. That is so many of them right there. It's like a flashbang going right for your face. And it's going to go through this entire area here. Oh yes, the creep is going through as well down here. Just sprinkling it in with the cursor there. All right, let's see what these spores do. Okay, some are being blown up by missiles, but I don't think there's gonna be enough missiles to keep up with them. Or there maybe is. Oh, but the blobs are really wreaking havoc. Look at how many are being blown up there. Okay, the missiles actually kept up with all of that. Wow, that's impressive. But other things are not keeping up with all of this creep right here. It's starting to splash up onto the main area up here. Whoop, and I just helped it there. And we're tearing away at their production now. I think, oh, oh wow. Oh wow, I didn't realize the power the cursor had. Look at how much is being generated right on where the cursor is. That is absolutely dirty. Ooh, but I think some spores are making it as well. Oh, look at this. The creep has reached the main base here. Yes, it is all being destroyed. Oh man, that base is gonna go down so quickly. There is so much creep right here. And now it's entirely enveloped in creep. Wow, things are going quiet so fast. Well, that was fun. Very interesting handling the creep by myself this time. And the base gets destroyed, aha. The queen in orbit leaves other worlds away. That's true, there are other queen maps I saw. So if you guys wanna see more of those, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Lucas S, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bice, The Minor Within, Degarity, Sans, Isaac, Hometown Medic, Miguel, and Drew.